adventures of Jake and Emmy continue. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're cooking, what are we cooking? Uh, we're having like a little beepenbop bowl our friend Kate taught us about, if you will. It's basically whatever veggies you got on hand in the fridge and then you throw a fried egg on top of it. And as a special edition, we have some mystery meat that we brought from the grocery store. Uh, well, we, we know we it's have pork. A good, yeah, we have we a good... We know it's pork because the guy said <laughs> when we asked what it was. Yeah. And uh, we don't know if it's seasoned or anything, so... It's not. It's definitely not seasoned. Um, but yeah, so now we're just gonna mix up a whole bunch of veggies, add a little bit of pork, uh, throw it on top of some rice, and call that dinner, lunch and dinner. Yeah, we don't really have a good eating schedule. <laughs> well, it, the eating schedule is based upon the sun. Yeah. So you eat in the morning, and then you eat a bigger meal later in the evening, and maybe we you... Eat, we eat breakfast, and then we eat brunch, and then we eat brunch again. <laughs> if it were up to me. <laughs> That would be the case. We have officially found our favorite beach in all of Baja. We're chilling at it right now. Yeah. It's called Tecalote and it's right outside of La Paz. Because um, we've been doing a lot of city living, if you will, yeah. over the past few weeks. And it's really gotten to us, yeah. that's for sure. It definitely isn't easy to go and stay in the city as we're in you're on this beach and just straight up chilling. It's, well, we've learned it's how nice. to stealth camp on the streets of Mexico in both Loretto and La Paz, both of which are extremely safe. So if you are down here with yeah. your van or RV, it's a non-issue, but it is incredibly loud and impossible to get some sleep. That especially is for sure. Especially in Loretto. Turns out the thing to do in Loretto is to take your whole family, all your dogs, every single night, especially on weekends, yeah. and blast your incredible sound system <laughs> yeah. and drive the half mile stretch up and down the beach, which is where we were parked. Yeah. So we and didn't sleep for... We didn't sleep for days. Yeah. But, you know, in that grand space of things, you know, you maybe you should get out and enjoy them yeah. at that point. Yeah. We but, we thought about it, but we were honestly a little cranky from the lack of sleep. Yeah, that's for sure. It was, a, it was quite the contrast to being on the beaches alone, away from everybody, and then being in that sort of hustle and bustle. But Loretto was cool. It was super touristy, honestly. The main area that's really cute, uh, there, it's a bit of a tourist trap. You can tell because the all the restaurant signage is in English. <laughs> and it's a lot of like hamburgers and kind of Americanized type food uh, which also is really overpriced but we did find our favorite restaurant of all time yeah it really was the best restaurant that we well food that we've had since we've been here because first of all there was nothing but ladies in the kitchen and they were cooking on an open fire grill which yeah <laughs> tell me about it it's called super burrow if you're in loretto it's been the best food we've had so far it's a little off the beaten path but we went back two nights in a row because it was amazing so that was like some food or what yeah, you're cooking. I'm, I'm, cooking. I'm prepping. You're cooking. All right. Well, we'll give you a, give you an evaluation once it's all done. Yep. All done. Um, I think someone's stuck out the sand out here, so I'm gonna go see if we can't help in some sort of way. They're stuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where? There's no way that that lady is not stuck. Um, but if they in that jeep want to help them, I at least have like the recovery gear to help them. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, so, I don't know if we can get down there without getting stuck. I'm not taking our van. I said that Jeep that's sitting right there that has four wheel drive sitting right in front of us. Okay. If they want to give them some assistance, All right, which go. will be easy, go I'm gonna it. go ahead and just do this. Okay, pause, we gotta help a friend. So obviously we mentioned last time we've been having some power issues. We're good. So you're on, you're got, on George. Gotta, gotta stay on top of the power <laughs> while we cook. All right, so we'll pause. Uh, La Paz has been great. We got to see our really good friends from California who have been living there for three months. So we yeah. got the VIP tour. Yeah, Isom and Jay were able to take us around. We hit the town, of yeah. course. Yeah, La Paz is definitely, or is like, it is a city. Yeah. Like, it, there's no doubt about that. It is a hot, hopping little city. Yeah, um, but it feels so safe. And it's still kind of sleepy, which is nice. Yeah. Um, it's not super Not that you get much sleep if you're city stealth camping, though. Well, that's because of the dogs. Yeah, the dogs are ridiculous They're here. vicious. 
for so sure. they're a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, they are. And they also well, it's keep us up they, all night because yeah. Bernie barks back at them while we're trying to sleep. Yeah, they're definitely carrying on a conversation. <laughs> if you ever seen that meme, Ezekiel, hey, fuck you. It's, uh, it's so it's, much fun to be woken up from dead sleep with your dog yes. just barking in your face. But we've got a ton done. Yeah, we've gotten a ton done. I got oil change on the van. We got a new oil filter and air filter, that which was actually really cheap. It was only $78 to get all of that done, which I find is a really great price for sure. And then of course, the most important thing, we ordered a new front windshield. Our windshield has so many cracks in it, it's barely hanging on. And uh, yeah. we've been waiting to do it in Mexico because we knew that it would be half the price of what it would cost in the States. Well, I've seen on Ford and a few other like main level, like GMC style vehicles, most windshields are actually made in Mexico. Yeah. So, honestly, they, why make, not go to the they make a lot here. So, everything is cheaper because it's not, you know, imported in. It's, just, it's made here. Yeah, including well, glass for basically anything. So we ordered a new front windshield. We're gonna get it tinted mm -hmm. with like this, it's clear tint, it's not like a dark tint. It like really blocks uh, UV rays. And yeah, so the Federale don't boop boop is yeah, what we're told. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but it's all for what, 600? 640 dollars. 40 bucks, 50 yeah. bucks? Yeah. Legit. Oh. Yeah, but you were supposed to check it. I know, I know, I forgot. I've fallen down on my job. Um, I got it. I got it. We also went to the tortilla factory, and we've gone to the tortilla factory in every single town. But there's one in particular in La Paz that has won us over. That we are now just eating ten tortillas a day per person. Out right out of the right out of the right bag. out of the bag. I've never had a cold tortilla taste so good. But they come out hot and they're amazing, and it's like two dollars for a kilogram. Yeah, it really it is. It's so two, we've gone, two two fifty for we've a kilogram. Gone three times. <laughs> well, three or four. Uh, last time I got a kilo and a half. And I was like, oh, then we ate at that half kilo <laughs> that day. That day. <laughs> and we also went to the Shadrawi. The produce section is incredible. It really is. It's, it's really good. Really, really good produce. And not I mean, we, we looked up the cost of our pineapple and the cost of our mangoes and stuff, which we got avocados. We got five avocados, which was a dollar. Yeah, something like that. A dollar. Yeah, it was like a dollar or two. Yeah. Significantly cheaper <laughs> here. The eggs are my favorite, though. Yeah, can you not hit me with that spatula? You're not even paying attention. I know you. You can get a pallet. I have to show you this. You can get a pallet of eggs. I have to get the eggs out anyway. Oh, I'm going to drop these everywhere. For everyone suffering from the egg crisis, this is what the eggs look like in Mexico. They are free no, range. And technically they don't need to be refrigerated. No. And, uh, Let's go ahead and say that. This is $5 at the expensive stores. Yeah. <laughs> so only, we've been eating a lot of eggs. Yeah. And the only reason why we have them in the refrigerator is because they're going to break in here otherwise. So, but yeah, they're amazing. They are great eggs. Yeah, Honestly. so the Shadrawi was amazing. And then what else do we do in La Paz? Uh, we already mentioned that we, our friends took us out on the town. Yeah, we did. And we went. Ate and drank our hearts out. Yeah, we did. We stayed up too late. Had a lot of mescalitas. Few nights. Yeah, lots of mescalitas. It was worth We went it. to this awesome, like, little speakeasy private <sighs> bar, which was really, really cool. Our friend Isom had like the full on hookup. They were they were high fiving him on the way in. They were like, "Hey, thanks for coming back." Da, da, da. We, went, we went to the gym. Oh yeah, and, you can and go, we did go to the you gym. You can get a day pass for five dollars. Yeah, and they have barbells. And we did, did not, not want to let go of that we barbell. Scared all of the locals. You scared all of the locals. I get really like I grow when I get into a gym. It's when I'm my most confident. Yeah, and uh, that's Emmy's comfort. Uh, definitely her comfort space. It was not a CrossFit gym, but I was like throwing down, cleaning, jerking, trying not to slam weights on the ground. I got a couple looks, but uh, I, I mean, we crushed it. I still got it. After a year or so of not touching a barbell, I felt uh, like I felt good. I felt incredible. I mean, so I apparently, felt you can stay in great shape but... just like without a gym, but it was really fun to go hit some weights. Yeah, I even benched 225 where I've and I felt good and I, I was like wow it's not, we'll just it's be not sharing bad. our PRs in the description below <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Yeah, but, I was happy with it for but sure. But yeah, so when you're traveling around, I don't usually think about going to a gym because in the States, you to day, do a drop day in? passes are not an option. Yeah. And if they are, it's really expensive. And most gyms just don't have it. Like you can't do a day pass. So it's yeah. really cool that you, for five bucks, you can just go to the gym yeah. if you really want to go do something. For sure. So that was awesome. That really and then we, we had to leave uh, the city because... With it was getting to us. We weren't getting any sleep. It, it was like crowded. It just felt like energetically crowded and all the dogs and roosters and like But it was also hot and as soon as we came with our friends out here to this beach, we were like, why are we staying in this yeah. city? So we found the best beach in Baja so far. At it's least I amazing. think so. It's amazing. It, it's amazing. It's hitting on all cylinders. It is free and yeah. you can stay here for months there's people that do stay here for months yeah. and it's very very easy to stay here you're camped right out on the beach and then there's like this gorgeous like landscape you have your pick i mean and it's a white sand beach yeah the uh water is crystal clear it's gorgeous emmy went and did like a little little scuba session today bernie helped <laughs> not, not scuba uh snorkel snorkel yeah you, i was trying you. on my snorkel and then it's it's honestly it's beautiful turquoise waters. The beaches in Baja are just so honestly, lovely. I can't believe we haven't been here before. I cannot believe that we haven't done a van trip here. Yeah. We've been it's we're gonna end up being here for two months. And yeah. we thought we were gonna be in Baja for like a couple weeks. Yeah, we so were it's like been three pretty, weeks for it's been sure. Pretty great. Yeah, but yeah, it's really nice. And here. then the other thing is it's very it's, convenient. It's very accessible here. So you're twenty yeah, minutes so this, from La Paz. This beach is, the name of it's called Ticolote. And you're only 25 minutes from like downtown the boss. Yeah. So anytime you want to pop back into town or do something, it's very very simple for you to do. Or they also have like a, like some semi amenities. So they do have a bathroom. You got to pay for it, but they have restaurants. There's people walking up and down the beach that are selling like mangoes, yeah. t-shirts, blankets. I wish they'd sell some toilet stuff. paper because we forgot to get some from the should wowie. But uh, <laughs> you know, and maybe I pay 15. Well, pesos sometimes you and... hit some, and sometimes you lose some. <laughs> What's the rating? Uh, I'd probably only give this one like a seven. Eight. Definitely. You, you've definitely made better. Definitely not pork. <laughs>